Hey everybody, it's Party Elite, welcoming you back to another episode of our Planet Zoo Franchise Mode Let's Play. Having a wonderful time with Elite Zoo North. We are kicking it up a notch today. We're going to be doing a lot, so let's not waste any time. Let's dive right into it, because like I said, we're going to be doing a lot. I got a great amount of feedback from the previous episode, and it kind of piles up from previous episodes before that as well. So, um... Uh, apart from seeing the new baby bears and baby tortoises come out, which is actually going to be the first thing we do, uh, we will be handling a lot of the little details that uh, will spruce up, I think, the... Um, well, first of all, the entrance to the uh, food exhibit, get the food... Food exhibit. It's not a food exhibit. The food enclosure. Not, it's not an enclosure. What's the word I'm looking Food court. Oh, my God. Forgot. <laughs> I've been saying that word for how many sessions? Uh, going to spruce up the food court a lot today with a time lapse. Going to spruce up this entrance as well. And we are going to get the bison pronghorn exhibit done. Got some excellent suggestions in the comments uh, for what to do with that. And I'm going to try and implement them. So I'm really excited for that. Uh, but for now, let's take a moment to enjoy the fact that we're about to get some baby bears. Uh, now, actually, as the baby bears are coming, I want to mention I've been seeing a lot of suggestions for... Uh uh, she doesn't seem very happy. I've been seeing a lot of suggestions for animal names, and uh, so far I haven't done any animal names, but if uh, if many of you want to see me uh, apply custom names to animals and stuff like that, then yeah, feel free to let me know. Maybe what I'll do is bears, bears, animals that we obtain one way or another, we won't name, but uh, animals that are born... Uh, in our zoo, we, we will give custom names to. Uh, the reason why I say that is because uh, I got the suggestion for Baloo, and I was like, you know what? I love the Jungle Book as a kid. I wouldn't mind that. Maybe maybe we do that. Wait, where'd your babies go? <gasps> is that the... That's the baby bear! Oh my god! <laughs> I completely blanked out there. Oh my god, Rhea. Oh, she's such a cutie. She's such a cutie. She's such a tubs as well. <laughs> Folks... We have our baby bear, and don't don't go drowning yourself now. Going in for a little drink. What a cutie! What a cutie! What, wait, no, I'm drowning my camera here. Oh dear. Um, can she get out? I haven't yet seen the bears actually swim. That's so adorable. Oh my god. Okay, sorry. No, but I uh, hold on a second. This is actually important though. I need to make sure they can get out. Okay, good. You can climb up there. You can climb out over there. Okay, good, 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 good. So we're we're fine. We're safe. Um. Anyway, I wanted to make sure we we saw that happen. These bears are really. Oh, it's it's feeding time. That's why. Wait, is that another baby? Hold on. What's going on over here? How many? We got Rhea over here, and we got Shanita over here. Then we've got Suthly, Daddy Suthly, and uh, Mommy Aria. Awesome. Okay. Didn't realize we got uh, we got two of them. One one just kind of popped up when I wasn't paying attention, I guess. Anyway. Sorry. Uh, so there's the baby bear, and we were also supposed to get baby tortoises. Um, I imagine they've popped out now. Oh my god, yes. I think that's th that's them. There they are. Aitana, Alejandro, Raul, and Arturo. I'm sorry, whenever I see the name Raul, I think about the, uh, the footballer from... What was it? Like, early 2000s? Late 90s? Jose... Mar These guys are... Uh, Hungry and thirsty. We gotta... I mean, I got the keeper coming through. Food is being dropped off over there. I would like it dropped off over here as well. I need to... Oh, are you finally feeding up the... Oh, my God. What? <laughs> I think he's filling up the, uh, the, the, the ball. Because the thing is, they prioritize the enrichment items as opposed to the actual feeding trays and stuff. I don't like that. I don't like that because now I've got so many hungry animals and uh, I don't appreciate that. Anyway, um, sorry, I got, I, I know I got distracted there. People are not yet using these stalls or anything. Hopefully that'll happen soon. People are buying umbrellas. That's good. Um, we got our babies. We got all of our babies. We got a reward over here as well. What did we complete? Maybe we just got, uh, yes, we, I think we helped because we got those uh, animals born here. We have helped with the community. Um, Goal. Oh, I guess I could claim that right now. No reason not to. What do we get? What do we get? Ooh, new new pants and some cons conservation credits. Cool. Won't complain about that. Uh, Jose is thirsty. Yeah, painfully aware of that. Isabella is visiting. Hello, hello. And we've completed a lot of research. High amounts of litter. Oof. Okay, you know what? Let's go ahead and pause for a second now. Uh, power source is failing. Let's go ahead and call a mechanic to this. Uh, hopefully it's reachable. I believe it is. But let's just double check. Um, Where are we? 
there you are, camera. Make sure that I didn't, by mistake, destroy the path or something. Whoops, went the wrong way there. I don't know how my um, mechanics and stuff navigate this area. Jeez. I, I can barely navigate it, and I built this place. All right, yeah, you're fine. Okay, good. High amounts of litter, I don't like that. We need more um, caretakers, I guess. I, I think caretakers I haven't hired in a while. Uh, mechanics research is complete. Vet research is complete. So let's go ahead and check the vet research first. Is that for the bears? Uh, okay, good, good. A little bit of everything. Continue that as is, I think. Um, I don't want to switch up. Oh, we're done. Borditilosis. Uh, what's the other thing? The other thing that I, the other disease to research was, ooh, I had the name noted down. I think I've erased it by mistake. Um, da -da 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 -da. I'm going to find it. I'm pretty sure I remember. Like I would remember. Oh yeah, tularemia. I think it was. Yes. One of those things that you kind of like when you see it, you recognize it. I'm pretty sure that's what was recommended. Okay, so we've got that going. Still researching bears a bit more, and we'll enrich their uh, area a bit more uh, later. Not not just quite yet. I uh, want to double check some of these other things as well. So mechanic research is completed, which is what? The solar panels? No, the India theme. Oh, wow. Okay, India theme is done. That means we should maybe start considering our India expansion. Because, um... And reduce your salary. This is another thing that I needed to do. I forgot to reduce some of these salaries. Um, yeah, so I, I, I've been talking about the India expansion for a while. I, I want to get on that soon, but maybe we'll keep the India theme expanding a bit more before we make our India expansion happen. Uh, we've already got you going there, high amounts of litter. Hopefully we'll solve that soon by hiring some more keepers, I believe, is what I'm looking for. Caretakers. Yeah, I've only got the two caretakers for a very large area. Now, many of you have been suggesting that I should maybe uh, split the work zone up rather than central, have a central north and a central south. And I don't think that's a bad idea at all. Um, so I think, I don't know if I'll get to that today because there's a lot of other stuff I want to get done today. But if it's not today, then it'll be the next session where we actually get, uh, yeah, central north and central south so that people are uh, less overworked. And I should actually, in the staff room over here, change the perk as well and give people, what is it, rec room? Recover energy faster, I think is what I want to do. Yeah, get them recovering energy faster and I might actually change... Uh, this one as well. You're not a staff room. You're the staff room. Change this one to be... Oh, I thought I gave this the PR course. Guess not. Rec room as well. So people will recover energy faster, so they'll be able to get back into uh, back into action faster. And I think that'll help overall. Um, all right, so that's that taken care of. I have reduced the salaries because that was another thing that was mentioned in the comments that I haven't reduced salaries. So hopefully we've fixed that. And uh, I mean, you know, I'm really starting to think... Okay, we've got a bunch of vendors... I do believe we need them, though, because without the vendors, a lot of these stalls are going to stay, stay empty. Maybe it's time to split up the, the work zones already. Finding the perfect split is why I'm like, has, like not hesitating, but delaying that a little bit, I guess. All right, so we've done that. We do need to train some of our vendors, though. Many of you were pointing out that training the vendors is significantly better than simply um, uh, hiring more. Because when, when people are trained up, they work faster. Uh, so let's go ahead and train. These guys are working right now, so I don't want to train them. Train you. Train you. Get you up to three stars, sure. And then I might need to check their salaries as well. Like, what's your problem? Why are you unhappy? Can't complain, I've got it pretty good. Well, then why are you unhappy? If you've got it pretty good. Come on. Come on. Our vets are okay. They're all two stars. So the vendors, yeah, they're getting trained, right? Uh, how, am I, I wish I actually told you that you're already training them. Okay, good. Yeah, we are training you. Uh, we've got one security guard. Let's go ahead and train her as well. And our mechanics are okay. These guys are all working. Our keepers are okay. Our caretakers could use some, uh, some, uh, training, I suppose. Go ahead and train you as well. Cool. And that should help us out on that front, because, uh, yeah, that's that's been a bit of a problem. Um, apart from that, there was... Uh, okay, right, one of the big things that I'm forgetting to do is add toilets. So I'm going to go ahead and add a... Wa I was tempted to add a washroom, like, under here, almost. J oh, so, hmm. Bear with me here for a second. Like, I could tuck it in back over here. I don't know if it's too close to some of these staff things. 
Uh, I don't want to put it over here. That's kind of like, I don't want it to be the first thing you see. But if I push it over here, for example, and we get out of this group, if I put you over here, right, and tuck it underneath this eating area, it becomes a space near the entrance where people are able to eat, and then if they need to use the washroom, they can as well. Uh, I don't mind that, but let's go ahead and see the range of some of these, uh, the negative effect range of some of these things, because... Oh yeah, you know, we'd be fine, actually. Putting the washrooms here, getting the path over here, we'd be fine. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's get our path and change this to this. Um, hmm. You know what? Let's play it safe. Play it safe. Let's delete all this. Wish I hadn't done that. I'm going to live to regret that. I know I will. I know I will. Too late now. All right, please work the way you did before. Uh, You know what? That's... I'll take it. Move you over this way. Pull you back this way. Yeah, let's keep going. Keep going. One more step. And pull down this way. And sure, you can connect to the staff area over here. That works for me. The staff has to come all the way down here. And again, this is too far to actually bother our customers. So what we'll do over here is, uh, yeah, we'll get, I think, just the one washroom. Now, many of you have been suggesting that I should charge uh, for the washrooms. And um, I uh, hmm. <laughs> don't know how I feel about that. Like I've said before, it's like, yeah, I know it completely makes sense from like a uh, business perspective, from like a money making perspective. Uh, and all that, but just from like a, I don't want to say ethical, it's not an ethical issue I have with it. It's just, uh, like I think I mentioned this previously, the one time I was ever in a position where I paid for a washroom was when I was in Paris, and, uh, that was a next level washroom. That was, that was a next level washroom. So, unless I have next level washrooms, I feel weird charging people for it. Um, but let's go ahead and adjust this area. I hope you guys don't mind that I'm doing this in real time. Uh, again, so I actually got a lot of great feedback from the previous episode's comments with regards to my pacing and stuff. Seems many of you are very, very happy with the pacing that we have currently. Um, so again, that's just, it's just good for me to know because I can adjust my content accordingly. Um, like my, my, how I behave, how I record and all that stuff. So thank you for that. And actually on that note, I should mention as I more or less always do. Uh, if you have been enjoying this series and you want to see it continue and you want to see it continue at pace, uh, please let me know. Leave a like and a comment down below. It, again, really helps me make decisions for the channel, lets me know what I should do more or less of. And uh, if you leave me a... Uh, so if you leave a like and a comment, it just, again, it helps me know that I should, you know, keep the pace up. But if you leave a comment, as you may have noticed by now, I do read through all of the comments, uh, not only to get your feedback and your thoughts, but it's also just nice to read. You know, sometimes you'll share uh, how you watch the videos or what you think just in general. And I, yeah, I enjoy going through the comments. So do keep them coming. Um, and I'm, I am happy to see so many of you uh, joining, you know, on like a every other day basis to, <laughs> to see our zoo grow and develop and prosper, hopefully. Is it too early to say prosper? Nah, I think we're doing pretty well, actually. I think we're doing pretty well. And now that the babies are born as well, now that we've got all these new babies, I was actually thinking we should um, get that marketing campaign out that's been suggested a couple times because now we have a lot more like stuff for people to see. I don't like how these are tiling. Uh, we've got we've got some more stuff for people to see and uh, they might be more excited and happy to be here as a result of that. So I think now is the time to um, capitalize on a marketing campaign. Uh, you know, this is I'm feeling pretty good about this. I'm feeling pretty good about this. Let's go ahead and get uh, one last, like, if I can get the thin one over here, I think that'll do the trick. Yeah. And then what we're going to do after that is, after, after this is done, I have some slight renaming to do because I got some excellent name suggestions. And then we're going to dive into our first time lapse very, uh, very immediately, I think, almost. Pretty immediately. Not, I mean, pretty immediately. Uh, okay, that's, that's fine over here. Let's go ahead and get you up to over here. Cool. And let's move both of you over. So... I got a great name suggestion actually for our um, our uh, gulpy stand over here, and I can't wait to to apply it. Just got to get this, and let's go ahead and duplicate you over a little bit so you cover that up. Cool. That should work. 
it's a bit of a bit of a trek, but I think that should work. And we'll go ahead and, and upgrade our, our railing and stuff. But I'll do that later. I'll do that uh, in, in a bit. But this is feeling pretty good. I might actually spruce this area up as well. Uh, but let's see. Right. So the uh, the gulpy over here, uh, I wanted to rename to, or where is it? Uh, Galapa Gulps. What a name suggestion. And again, keep them coming as well. I do enjoy customizing our, our stores and stuff like that. So Galapagulps is that one. And uh, we got uh, we got a name suggestion down over here as well. If we can just get through over here. Uh, turn this on because then I can zip by. So, okay, this is a gulpy and this is a chief of uh, chief beef. Well, it's a grizzly grill now um, because someone pointed out like, are you sure those are two different stores? Because if not, um, might be a good idea to double check. Also, it was mentioned that if I do some more research, then I'll actually unlock more eateries and stuff. So that that's something I'm looking forward to. Uh, just having more variety down over here. Now, there were quite a few suggestions for stuff to do down over here. And I think what we might want to do is go into our first time lapse of the day. And, uh, oh, come on, stop. There's a, there's a bin right there. You animals. You animals. I should have an enclosure for these people. Ugh. It, uh right there <laughs> it's right there all right sorry i'm gonna stop complaining uh let's get into our time lapse over here and uh yeah fancy up our uh our underground food court so there's actually quite a bit to do down over here i mean there's a little bit of cleanup stuff some of you guys pointed out in the comments that uh those gaps really didn't look that good and when i got a chance to look at it properly i wholeheartedly agreed i didn't like the way it was kind of weirdly it feels unfinished so i decided let's go in let's clean that up let's finalize it and apart from that, there's a lot. Oh, there's a lot to do uh, with the uh, the eating area, the food court. I keep forgetting what it's called today for some reason. The food court requires a lot of work today. So uh, apart from getting all these things done, I wanted to make sure it was a bit more fancy. I wanted to get some lighting in here as well. So you're gonna see me actually do a fair bit of terrain work in the underground area, and I'm really happy with how it ends up. Another thing I do is I actually swap this out because some of you pointed out that it feels almost like it's an incomplete part of the zoo like it's still under construction and i was like oh god that's i couldn't unsee it once it was mentioned so i decided to go in here and make it a different kind of flooring still so it feels like these logs have been just packed into the dirt so it still feels a little different it's still on brand with our kind of you know cabin in the woods look and feel uh but it doesn't look like it's incomplete now the thing that was pointed out was that the uh the benches didn't really feel like they were working properly so i've changed them up a little bit as well and i actually go ahead and add some toilets down here because many of you pointed out not only that i need more toilets that i've been getting many of you pointed out that this is so far away from the front not having any toilets in here is a bad idea <laughs> that's the the best way to put it so uh, i've added uh, i think i ended up adding a couple of toilet blocks um just feels nicer when it's symmetrical i don't know if it'll actually be used like that but i I've, it just felt like it looked a little bit nicer uh, you can see me struggling there with the pathing and the train and stuff but ultimately we do manage to put it down and i give it the same kind of covering uh with the rocks and stuff as well clear out some of the train make sure people are able to use it and i think it'll be good uh because again it's really far away from the front there's food and drink nearby so hopefully People will come here, they'll eat, they'll drink, they'll use the washroom, and then they'll move on to, uh, you know, further exhibits and stuff afterwards. Uh, pretty happy with how this is all coming together. And as some of you mentioned in the comments, uh, if I do the right research, I'll unlock more drink and food as well. So, uh, leaving gaps for those um, shops, basically, to make sure that I have room for those stalls when I eventually want to add them. But I also wanted to add the souvenir shop down over here, make sure that... I know it's kind of weird selling balloons underground, but people will buy it. So why not? Why not? Right? Uh, so I've got the balloon shop there as well. And again, we'll add more like the just a memento and stuff down here eventually as well. And I figured, you know, let's go ahead and add some education down here too. Why not use every inch we can to educate people when possible? Do a little bit of adjusting here and there. Move these benches around as well. But overall, yeah, feeling pretty satisfied. Nowhere near done yet. But I didn't want to spend the entire episode today working on the food court. So I decided to move on into some of the terrain stuff that I wanted to do. And... Uh, some of this stuff was already in my mind to like to execute today, but some of you were suggesting other things in the uh, comments that I was like, oh, you know, these would be pretty interesting ideas. So we end up uh, going a little bit more over the top here than I'd initially intended, uh, but I'm perfectly okay with that. I think it's pretty neat. I think it's nice to have a fancy food court like this. Uh, so you can see right now, I'm just digging these holes uh, to put water here, but ultimately I want it to feel kind of connected to the grizzly bear habitat. Not saying it's like gray water from the grizzly bear habitat coming down here, but I want to have that same kind of continuous feeling. So we're going to have some waterfalls down here. We're going to have some rapids as well, but of course effects you can't really add until, um, 
you've got motion going. And then over here for the entry as well, I decide, you know what, let's switch it up a little bit. Rather than have it be all rock and, you know, solid and blocked off, I decided, well, why don't we just dig a deeper hole here, and rather than have it rock, have it be water, rather than have it rock, rather than have it be rock, have it be water, and out over here, we'll add some waterfalls and stuff as well. And again, I'll do that eventually, uh, but it was just that I felt like we could do something a little bit different over here. We've done the same thing for our underground entry points for every single one of them. Uh, and it was another thing that was mentioned in the comments. It's like, why not, you know, get get something different going on? And I was like, you know, that's a, that's a good point. We should switch it up, keep these things, you know, varied and interesting. So we're going to get some waterfall effects and stuff going over here as well. Uh, and uh, down below, you can see we've got some water. So from a, from a experience perspective, I guess... I just think it'd be cool to walk down this area, get the rocks over here as well to make sure no one goes in for a dip or anything like that, because that wouldn't be good. I did struggle a little bit with getting the um, gaps all sealed off over there, but ultimately I was like, you know, let's go ahead and add a little bit of green over here, add a little bit of variety over here, and uh, let's not take too much more time on the, uh, on the food court area. It's nowhere near done yet, so don't... Uh, Think of this as the the finished product there's a lot more work to do here but if you take a look at my money right now i'm at about 10 grand so i was starting to get a little worried about spending too much not just time but also money down here uh, because i did also want to get these lights down now we haven't turned on the full day night yet our zoo closes at night so we're not going to see the full effects of the um lights but i wanted to get them down here i wanted to colorize them so blue is where all the exhibits are red is where all the eating happens Red lights are supposed to make you uh, more hungry, fun fact, uh, but it also makes you more aggressive, which is why bars don't use the color red, but some restaurants do. All right, I think that's enough of a time lapse for now. We are at 10 grand. We've spent a lot of money right now, so maybe we need to, um, maybe we need to pick up the pace a little bit and, uh, allow uh, allow some money to flow in and as that's happening we've got to keep an eye out for any alerts and stuff but also we'll just make sure that uh, yeah people are coming through they're getting their food we are doing some training so hopefully our vendors are well hopefully there's enough vendors and hopefully we'll start making some money off of them soon as well but i'd also like to keep decorating some stuff down over here because as you may have guessed uh we're going to add some special effects over here so again just need to be ready for the fact that uh money is kind of tight right now uh, so just got to keep that in mind. Waterfall over there. We're going to add another waterfall. I'm not entirely satisfied with that uh, entry point. Uh, maybe I'll maybe I'll maybe I'll wait a little bit before I add anything more over there. Let's go ahead and finish this area off, though. I really like this. I, I hope you guys like it as well. Um, again, these are the, the 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 suggestions I get in the comments are always absolutely amazing. Uh, like I've said constantly, they give me a lot of like insight and sometimes i might not do the exact thing that the comment suggests but i will you know draw from it get inspired by it and then uh and, and then you know make my modifications to it and create hopefully stuff that you guys enjoy so do keep them coming i i, I can't help but stress that enough do keep them coming really happy with how this is coming along because yeah this area does need to be spruced up a lot more i've also got this going down over here and for this i wanted to get um rapids like, I want it to feel like it's somewhat connected, I suppose, to um, our uh, our exhibits and whatnot. I mean, I don't know how successfully I've done that, but but I'm pretty happy, I think, with how this is looking. Let's go ahead and rotate this around. There we go. And the reason why I stopped the time lapse was because, uh, like I said, we need to start making some money before I, or as I place these things down. I just wanted to make sure we had that going. So let's go ahead and put you over here. And I'd actually like to put another one uh, over here. Again, I want this to feel like it's an actual active um, river or something. Just that it has some flow or something going on for it. Uh, is that just shooting up now? Yeah, that is. That's hilarious. I don't want it to shoot up, please. <laughs> please go back to being normal. There we go. That should be. There we go. Excellent. Go ahead and... Ooh, looks like some vet research has been completed as well. So we'll have to check on that. Adjust this a little bit first. There we go. There we go. Almost. Almost. You know what? I need you to cover that piece of terrain over there. There we go. That feels good. Cool. All right. Yeah, again, just making it, trying to make this a bit more of an interesting experience. I might need to adjust the uh, the terrain here a touch more as well. Can I, tell me I can push you in. I can't. Of course I can't. Why would I be able to? Why would I be able to? Hopefully no one trips on their way down. <laughs> um, but actually, oh no, you know what? These are the rocks. I can move these. I can move that over. 
this is dirt, so hopefully no one trips over it. All right, ooh, our wandering spider has had some offspring, so heads up. Uh, we're also going to be adding some new exhibits and stuff over here. Oh my god. Um, okay, let's go ahead, and this has been suggested a couple of times, that I get rid of all the males. You know what, I should probably get rid of a lot of the females here as well. This is just a lot of, 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 of spiders. There's an uncomfortable amount of spiders, so Abril will keep you. I can't even scroll down anymore, there we go. Abril and we got two Teresas. Keep I P P Dad. I don't know how to say that. And Teresa, sure. Everybody else, send you to the trading center, and then we're gonna go ahead and bring some new male um, Brazilian wandering spiders because what we can do is keep that genetic variety going. So you, Francisco, let's go ahead and adopt you, and let's make sure that Francisco is new. Yep. Let's move you over to here. And then everybody else, we got a couple of golds. Now, see, the thing is, okay, you know what, actually? Let's go ahead and get rid of uh, Abril and Teresa and Piedad. Piedad, I'm not sure how to say that. Let's go ahead and move you over here. And let's get just the gold ranked back in there. Oh, was Teresa, was the other Teresa also gold ranked? All right, well, hey, this is what it is. Let's go ahead and put you back in here. Francisco's going to have an absolute field day in there. Let's go ahead and select all. And wow, that's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. Is Francisco our best male? I mean, I shouldn't have... Well, we want to avoid um, inbreeding and stuff. So let's go ahead and quick trade. It, okay, I guess the game won't let me. Yeah, got to do it separately. Fair enough. But that's that's a good four, easy four grand or so we're making. So very happy with that. Go ahead and keep doing this real quick here. Get rid of all of you. I do need to add some more exhibits. That's been uh, suggested for a couple of episodes. It's definitely something I want to do, but I feel like we've spent enough time underground today. Uh, maybe it's time to go above ground a little bit. Wow, this place is getting real crowded now. I guess it's raining outside still. Oh my god, it is raining. Cats and dogs, which is, I guess, ideal for that new underground section we just developed. Anybody? Nobody's coming up here still, eh? Nobody's coming up here still. Man. How are people feeling overall? Yeah, the, the uh, Timberwolf exhibit, not the greatest. Oh, actually, talking about Timberwolves reminds me, uh, you very wisely pointed out, folks, that um, even though the animals can get through over here, our keepers cannot, and that is uh, not ideal when it comes to taking care of animals. So let's go ahead and fix that real quick. Hopefully our keeper can walk through this. Got to smooth this out. I think I'll have to raise that barrier a little bit. There's our day-night cycle. <laughs> and just It's so adorable. He's just taking a little nap down there, hiding from the uh, the rain, I suppose. Hiding from the rain. Let's go ahead and adjust this. Mm. He's having to raise you so much. This is one of the viewing areas. We'll, we'll see how people feel about that. We'll see how people feel about that. And hopefully this is deep enough to allow our uh, keepers to actually push through. Let's go ahead and smooth this area out. I and mean, I think it might be. I feel like I could fit through that. I don't know. We'll find out, I suppose. Because, yeah, that's why the feeding area and stuff on the other side is not getting filled out. Uh, but another thing that I wanted to do was actually add a cooler over here. Because I think this area would look a lot cooler. Yes, pun intended. If... It was snowy. Let's go ahead and put you down over here, right in the middle, right? And then we'll drop the temperature. So again, what's your what's your temperature limits again? Because uh, I do forget. Uh, where's the Zoopedia? There we go. So your limits are negative eight, negative eight. So let's go ahead and drop this down to negative four. Let's say. Oh, Puppers is taking a little nap down here, safe from the rain and all. It's pretty adorable. But the other issue that some of you pointed out was that this is actually not entirely reachable oh that's weird this used to be reachable but i guess it's not anymore uh let's go ahead and make some adjustments here shall we let's make some adjustments here to try and make sure that this area can actually be used because i'd love to see the wolves climb up top i would really love to see that uh so let's go ahead and do that i wonder if i can do like this kind of a thing see if that's now a little bit more attainable okay they can get up to here but they can't get up to here okay as kind of expected because now i'm going to go ahead and whoops no i meant to duplicate you please 
duplicate you up to there, but also put a slight slope on you. Okay, let's see how that works. Can you, can you, can you? It's going to refresh, and no, still can't, eh? Can't even get up to that area. It's like this is too steep, I suppose. I could just make it out of soil. That's another option. Uh, or I could, instead of doing all this weirdness, I could pull one of these pieces and just make it flat. And that probably has a higher likelihood of working. Let's see if that uh, works. Yeah, see, they can get a little bit higher with that. Let's go ahead and raise this a little bit. See how you feel about that. That is almost there. So now we're connected up there, but we're not connected down here. So let's go ahead and do this kind of a thing. And refresh. Good. There we go. Now we're connected. Now we're connected. And we can do the same thing on the other side. And maybe they'll actually use this area properly. And now our keepers can come up here as well. This is a very, I know, grayscale section of the, uh, the, the episode. I apologize. <laughs> I just want to make this as efficient as possible. I don't have to keep switching back and forth. Uh, close. Close. A bit higher. A bit more over. Oh, he sounds like he's whimpering. There we go. That, that should do the trick. Hopefully we'll see some more uh, activity there. Mechanic research is complete. What have you completed here now? Uh, souvenir shops. Excellent. We got some more souvenir shops. So let's actually take you off the souvenir shops. Alejandro. And let's apply you to, well, power is happening, drink shops perhaps. Because uh, again, as you guys have mentioned in the comments, more food and drink shops can be researched as evidenced by the fact that those are research categories. <laughs> I should have maybe noticed that. Um, but okay, so we got that going, we got this going. Uh, what else was suggested? Um, oh, right, I should mention there was a name suggested for the food court. Haven't had a chance to implement that. Wanted to save some money up. And again, like I said, I think I'm done dealing with the, the underground area uh, today because... Uh, it's a lot of darkness uh, we spent our, our, our day in. So let's go ahead and, and do some above ground stuff. And obviously, like I said, I also want to get our... Um, uh, I also want to get our... Bison... Bison. Bison. I keep saying like it's a Z. Bison exhibit going as well today. That's definitely something I want to do today. I've been talking about it for a while. I don't want to keep you guys waiting any longer. There was a suggestion to put a fence down over here, but I don't know how I feel about it now that I'm actually doing it. Um... That's why I didn't go into time-lapse mode, because I didn't know how I would feel about it. I mean, I guess I could do it like something like this kind of a thing. Hmm. Maybe. Something to think about. Something to think about. Not sold on it just yet, but I might do it later. Uh, we will be adding more um, exhibits, but that's some saving for later. How is this cooler? Oh, you know what? It might be out of range of the... No, it's operational. Well, let's uh, get some snow in here. Oh, I know why. I know why. Because... Um... This is not snow. Oh, oh my god, I just realized. I just missed it. He was up there. <laughs> I was like, oh, he's got his chew toy. And I didn't 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 make note of the fact that the wolf must be up there to get the, the chew toy. Oh my god, silly me. Let's make sure we don't um, overdo it with the snow. I mean, they like the snow, so this shouldn't be a problem. Where'd you go, buddy? Don't take the chew toy back to here. You're supposed to spread. And actually, that reminds me. Uh... Many of you have pointed out, fighting for dominance is natural. And I've got all these glorious wolves in storage. I shouldn't do that. Instead, I should move them back over here. And I should let them sort it out. Let them fight. Let them pick a new alpha. Let's get them another female as well, so that there is, you know... Well, actually, first of all, where is their mother? Nekedra, we're going to give you contraceptives, so you're not going to have any more babies. Uh, you know, don't want any inbreeding by mistake. And we want to bring another wolf in. Um, excuse me, I s oh, there we go. No, I said, move you. Move you. you know, come on now. Are you already being moved, perhaps? Okay, well, hey, we'll, uh, we'll leave that for now. Oh, okay, yeah, there. Uh, and I wanted to get another timber wolf. I wanted to get a female timber wolf. And we will have a proper pack where they will properly determine their own uh, alpha order and stuff, and we will accept the situation. They will have to fight a little bit. I don't know why I was so distraught by the fighting, but I, mean, I guess it makes sense. Uh, let's find one that's like decently appealing. I want to make sure it's female. Oh, hello. 2,000. I don't know if I want to spend 2,000 on a wolf. Abigail. 
Nele, 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 I don't know how to pronounce that. Gabella, let's go with, uh, part of me just would rather pay money. Oh, here they go, I think they're fighting again. Oh, I think they're fighting. Cash listings only, please. No females? Okay, I guess we'll, we'll hold off then, we'll hold off, yeah. Oh my god. Who's gonna end up the alpha? Who's gonna end up the alpha? Ontario? Oh, oh, Ontario, have you got it? Hell yeah, Ontario's still the alpha over here. Lucas got put in his place despite being a superior specimen. Seems, no, you know what, actually, I guess Ontario's a superior specimen. Awesome, good for you, buddy. Good for you. Fighting for alpha status, yeah, that's been completed. Don't have to worry about that anymore. Um, but yes, let's go ahead and check again real quick if we have any female options here. Still nothing, I imagine. Still nothing. Alright, maybe maybe we do need to spend some conservation credits. Not too many, though. I don't want to... I don't want to spend too many on wolves, because we've already had wolves for so long. 575, that's half of my credits. Let's go ahead and get, um... I guess the good ones are pricey. Go ahead and get you. Very low fertility. Ooh, that's not good. Very well. Let's go ahead and get, um... Abigail, maybe, for 575. Emberly has low fertility as well. Her fertility is just zero, Tyrion, over here. Alright. Abigail is okay. Let's adopt you. And let's first of all move you to, uh... Get checked. Quarantine first. And we'll get you in there. What's wrong? Contraceptive, is that the uh, alert over here? That's fine, that's intentional. What have, what have we got going on over here? Low welfare for you. Can we dismiss this? It's done, the fighting is done. Low welfare, why are you upset? Social health, too many snakes in here? Oh no, you're alone. Oh no, you're dead. Oh no, you're... Oh yeah, okay, okay, there's too many animals in here. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Isn't that adorable? Isn't that adorable? You know what's not adorable? Having this many snakes in one area. Uh, let's go ahead and get rid of all the boys. We'll sell them off. And let's go ahead and buy another... Rattlesnake. Actually, you know what? Get Emberly in here as well. Yates. Let's move you back in. Because you're a high-quality specimen again. And let's go ahead and find the Western Diamondback Rattlesnakes. We need a female. Listing expired. Then why are you still over here? Fertility's kind of low over here. Ah, uh, we can... We can make it work. We can make it work. Bring you in there. And let's go ahead and get rid of our snakes. Nice 2.5 grand. Done. I know, I know sometimes that... Ah. Oh, I'm sorry, I can't get over this. That's pretty cute. A proper pack, eh? A proper pack. I think the people are enjoying this, yeah. Let's go ahead and take a quick peek at the situation down here. Yes, this is what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. This is great. Now, these lines are going to be long. So I'm wondering if... Uh... Okay, so people are happy about the views now. Go ahead and move you. I wonder if we... Um... That's what I'm looking for. Need to add more of the same food stalls just for now. Uh, Alright, so I think uh, overall, you know, I'm going to wait for the rain to dissipate before I go back into time-lapse mode. Because again, we want it to be bright and shiny while we're making our uh, next exhibit. So I might speed things up. Just taking a quick look at my notes again. Now, I will be adjusting... Um, this area of Wolf Rock. Again, like I said before, I kind of want to make it a bit bigger. Uh, but... I think that's something that I can wait. For now, the wolves, I think, are satisfied. Yeah, their welfare is across the board pretty good. Uh, terrain or, or area, navigable area, they have enough. So they're pretty happy, actually. Don't have to worry about that. What about our bears? How are our baby bears doing? How are our baby bears doing? They're, they're doing pretty good. They're pretty happy as well. That's good. I did want to add more um, uh, climbing platform stuff as well. You know, let's go ahead and do that while we're waiting for the rain to go away. Why, why spend time just uh, staring at the rain? Go ahead and add 
I just wanted to make things a bit more... Like, believable, I suppose, is the word I'm looking for. Gotta get some more, like, supports in and stuff, you know? Because right now, the physics of this thing... Doesn't make any sense. And it was bothering me when I put it down, but at the time I put it down just to experiment and see how it would... If it would work, rather. Not how, but if it would work. Let's get another one of those over there. Let's go ahead and get one over... Here as well. Well, a different one over here. This one? No. It definitely needs to be chunkier than that. There you go. Something like this. Just to, like, keep it in place like that. And I don't think... To you guys' point, I don't know if this is reachable. So let's go ahead and move you a little bit further in. And I think we need to add... Well, let's move you down and over a bit. And I think we need to add another one over here. Again, just to make it a bit more believable. And we might make this a bit fancier as well. In due time. For now... It's a little basic, but it does the trick, I think. I think the animals are happy. And it looks like they're getting fed often enough. The welfare is okay across the board, it seems. Welfare is okay across the board. Enrichment is a little low. I could add some more food enrichment, but... Not in a rush. Not in a rush. Gotta, gotta switch things up over time, right? I still don't know if keepers can come through here. Maybe not. Maybe I should just make this one giant gap. I think that might be a good idea. Go ahead and reduce the size a little bit. Um, let's please not paint. I knew I should have just said sampled. There we go. These wolves are just like, what just happened? What in God's name just happened? Let's make this into rock, I think. Oh, they don't like, like rock, actually. So, soil. It's pretty cute seeing them actually use this terrain. It... I'm really happy they're using this uh, area. Oh, are you going to climb up? Are you going to climb up, buddy? No. I want to catch him climbing. I want to catch him at the top. I think that'd be a nice uh, nice thing to look at. Uh, all right. Sun's up. Time to get our next exhibit going, I think. Uh, now, if you don't mind, I'm going to just take a quick second to double check that I've got everything else I needed to do. I got the toilets over here. I don't know if people are actually using it, but, you know, just from a, from a functionality perspective, I like that we've got it. Uh, I kind of feel like this needs to be cleaned up. You know what? It can wait. It can wait. It can wait. I don't know why I'm rushing on that. I've double-checked on all of our bears and our tortoises. Everyone's getting food. Everyone, I think the welfare is okay. Enrichment here is a little dead. So let's go ahead and get some more enrichment going. And food is finally being spread out. So hopefully we're going to see... Yeah, I think now that we have more tortoises here, we're going to see more action out of that. But yes, let's go ahead and before we build this new... Um, before we build our next exhibit, just want to get tortoises having some more fun over here. Go and add this over here, why not? Hopefully they'll enjoy that, and hopefully again we'll draw some more people up here. Just no one's just no one's coming up there. Makes me kinda sad. Makes me kinda sad. And actually on the topic of things that make me sad, I have forgotten, but now I've remembered, that apparently down over here. In the, in the bear exhibit, we have a section of glass that is just clear glass with the barrier here. want to make sure this is all one way. Yeah, that's one way. And, oh, there we go. That was a gap. That wasn't even a... Oh, oops. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Make sure the bears aren't able to escape. Oh, that's ugly. Gotta move you in, buddy. Let's go ahead and... Just gotta nudge you in ever so slightly. There we go. Bit more. Bit more. Oh, come on. This is not worth time-lapsing. Don't make me regret not having time-lapsed this. <laughs> I'm sorry, folks. That'll do the trick for now. It's okay for now. I'll adjust that and tuck it away later. All right. Um, yeah, I think we're ready to get uh, our next exhibit going. So it's going to be a large exhibit over here. And I'll explain it as I time lapse it. Strap in, ladies and gentlemen. Grab your bowls of popcorn. This is a long one. So first things first, I check up on the pronghorns and the bison to get an understanding of its uh, space requirements. It's actually not that much space needed. 
but I still wanted to do something really fancy. Uh, I got some pretty interesting suggestions. So last session I mentioned the 360 dome that I wanted to make, but in the comments there was a suggestion of uh, upping the ante a little bit, and I'll, I'll describe it when we get to it. So first things first, again, party elite tradition, got to struggle with the pathing system a little bit, managed to, you know, make it work to a degree that I'm happy with. And then I start digging a little gap over here because like I said, I want that underground access into the 360 area. Now, I'm a little concerned that I've made that go too far out. So I am worried about that, but I'm hoping that uh, with some more exhibits and stuff underground over here, people will venture this far out. Uh, but yeah, you know, make this hole a little bit larger because I want it to have a nice sense of scale, make it a little bit bigger feeling, I suppose. And uh, and then we get this, uh, you know, we got to get the ramp coming up so people are actually able to come up over here. I had a little bit of struggle over here, but, you know, a little bit of cleanup action. It's not perfect, and I wish you could make... Well, I wish I could make, I should say specifically, perfect circles, but I, I just, for the life of me, I can't figure it out. It bothers me a little bit, but that's besides the point. The suggestion in the comments was to not just have the 360 viewing uh, area, but to have a full-on watchtower and i was like you know what that's really cool uh i think that'd be i think that'd be really awesome so i go ahead and i build this thing which is just gonna be two stories hoping that people will actually uh watch from downstairs but also come upstairs get a nice viewing angle from up top and also have an extra kind of balcony area i suppose um so uh, again just kind of you know chipping away at that really excited by the idea over here uh so i'm like all right cool let's uh let's get to work on putting down some walls trying to find the right I guess, modular piece to build the walls with. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is quite an adventure. This is like a safari in and of itself. So first things first, okay, let's let's start with the interiors. Let's get a let's get a doorway in here. Find the right wall pieces. We'll go with like this plaster looking thing. That'll that'll work. Nah, you know what? Let's let's not do the door. Let's start with the uh, the tower itself with the with the outside. So I, I do this whole thing where you duplicate it on either side, so that way when you rotate, you can rotate from the middle. Get my angle snap going and all. Yeah, okay, cool. This looks like it's working. It's a little off, but we can adjust that later, right? That's not a big deal at all. So yeah, I go through and I'm pretty happy with how this is lining up nicely. And I feel like, you know, it'll work. Um, now, again, the eagle-eyed among you will be noticing the issues that I notice later. But you'll be noticing them right now. Anyway, I clean things up and I'm like, all right, cool, this is good. Let's go ahead and duplicate things a little bit and adjust things a little bit and make it all fit nicely, except it's impossible because it doesn't fit nicely and it looks horrendous. It looks like a prison. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, we're going to hit the reset button on that. So we delete all that work. And I'm just like, okay, what do I do here? And I try to look for a different type of piece that might work. Um, I try to, you know, the definition of insanity is do this, doing the same thing, like repeating the same thing and expecting different results. There's a little bit of that going on, but I'm like, okay, how about if we tilt things a little bit? This, honestly, this time lapse, um, I think eventually you'll see my exasperation translate through the clicks. Because now again, I'm trying this and I'm like, no, it doesn't line up properly. Or does it? No, no, it doesn't. This whole rotation thing is throwing it off. I try fixing that and then duplicating again. I'm like, that's not working either. What if I just do like a wall section? These quarter circles don't fit, like they're not the right size. And I like what the circle is looking like. So I decide, you know, how about what if, yeah, what if we go in with some of those building pieces and uh, and use the grid to our advantage? Maybe that'll work. So, uh, you know, I kind of get that started and I'm like, okay, it's not the perfect fit. But in theory, this should work in theory. By the way, you can adjust grid size at the bottom right corner, which is what I'm doing to make it fit where I want it to go. And ultimately, it's starting to look pretty good. Unfortunately, you're not able to um, select a huge group of them and duplicate them, which is a real bummer. So I had to go ahead and build the tower section one at a time. So I had to undo basically 80% of the work I just did, make one of the tower sections make the second one, and then redo the duplication. Not the end of the world. At this point, I was thrilled that I'm seeing some progress, finally. And then, uh, as I build this, I was like, oh, you know what, this is looking okay. And then I realized, hold on a second, you can't see through concrete, Party Elite. You gotta make it glass. So, we go back in here, and just using the uh, barrier system, because I felt like that would be a lot more uh, fluid, it would allow me to actually execute what I want to execute, I go around in a circle and, of course, have to fidget about and fiddle about with... Uh, this area because of the weird outcropping there but overall we managed to make it all the way around it's made of glass people should be able to see through it i'm a little worried that's an understatement i'm extremely worried that people are actually not going to be able to see through it or it's not going to count as a good view because they're going to be too far back i don't know i'm i don't know i really hope this works because this has been it was an adventure and a half 
it was stressing me out, if I'm completely honest. It was definitely stressing me out. But I liked the idea so much that I, I wanted to fight through the pain and execute it. Overall, it starts coming together pretty nicely. Some of these areas don't look that good. And the thing that was making me very upset, I suppose, it's the only way to put it, the thing that was making me upset was it just didn't look nearly as good as all the other stuff I've done so far. Like, I'm a, uh, I'm pretty happy with how the other stuff looks. I wouldn't say I'm like a, an artist or anything over here, but I'm pretty happy with how the other stuff looks. This was just looking blocky and chunky and nothing was working here. And I, I try to give myself an idea of like what the experience is like, and I'm like, you know what, here's the problem. This is the problem. I've got this weird, like, bottom area. I don't have any flooring or anything. Uh, I have to find a way to actually make it attach to uh, the ground and, and make it blend uh, seamlessly, so to speak. And that's when I realize uh, the, the main issue isn't, like, the wall itself, and I, I spent some time fiddling with this as well. Uh, I should have I just, like, edited this out. I was like, yeah, I mean, maybe we need the floor up here. Maybe that'll make me feel better. The answer is no. The answer is no, it does not make me feel better. Because you don't get the right, like, curvature and stuff. It would have to be all rigid edges. And that that's not what I want over here. Do we go higher? No. That doesn't make any sense. Like, trying to add a roof. Maybe a roof. Or maybe it's an open top. I'm thinking open top, by the way. That was my final decision. Open top. Nice and breezy. Uh, but you can stay downstairs if you want to avoid the rain and snow and stuff like that. Anyway. Then I go back down here, where I realized my major issue, and I start adding these rocks in. And I was like, you know what? If I can blend it in to the landscape a bit better, I think I'll feel a lot better about it. And, and, and not just the ground over here, not just like its interaction with like the dirt and stuff, but also the way it wraps around the, uh, the, the, the walkway, and also how it blends in to the outside. Because right now it literally, uh, to me it still kind of looks a bit like a prison-like um, guard tower. And that's not an attractive site. So I, I start doing this sort of naturalization process, I suppose we could call it, uh, where I get these rocks in here. And eventually I want to add some vegetation and stuff as well. So inside I'm doing uh, taiga stuff still because these rocks, I think, look really nice. And it's still are like under it's a transition from our underground to our above ground. So it felt like the right style of rock and stuff. It blended in a bit more nicely. Uh, but eventually the uh, the bison and bison, I keep saying bison, the bison and the pronghorn uh, require temperate climate stuff. So we do switch that up when we start working with the outside because I don't want them to be upset about the vegetation um, because this will be a part of their habitat. They're going to have to get used to interacting with this. And I might change the uh, glass here to one-way glass. I don't know if it's necessary, uh, but I might do that just to make sure that the animals aren't shy. And what I'll do actually is I'll get uh, all their food and stuff happening close to the... Um, yeah, you can see me double double checking the uh, the zone and stuff, and I make it North America too to make sure I don't make the same mistake as I've made before. But yeah, I get some of this greenery and stuff happening, and I'll get their food and stuff close to the uh, tower as well, so they might they'll run around freely and happily. But when it comes time to eat, when it comes time to uh, drink, they'll do it all near the um, uh, near this watchtower. Pretty happy with how it looks. Uh, after all that struggle and and frustration. Pretty happy with how it's coming together, and I decided to cap this off as well. I, I realized at this point that the uh, time lapse was getting extremely long. I I'd been recording for two hours at this point, uh, just to give you an idea of, uh, of how long it had been going for. The, the time lapse itself so far is an hour's worth of work. Um, so I, I was like, okay, you know what, I need to end this time lapse soon because I'm getting exhausted and I'm sure it's getting tiring to watch me struggle. And I figured that maybe we'll finish this watchtower element uh, next session, but I wanted to get this area done just to get an idea of if this would work and how I would lay it out because I wanted to get the the groundwork done basically and I really like how the uh, these climbing pieces are used or how they feel and I actually end up getting a little support thing down over here as well and I use this discrepancy if you will to get a little uh, education board there I'm like okay you know what this is starting to come together I'll actually give this a canopy as well so that you can come up here and hide when it starts to rain so feeling pretty good actually feeling feeling pretty good all right, folks, that's where I'm going to have to call that time lapse. That was an hour long time lapse. My like <laughs> neck is killing me from like struggling with anyway. I'm sure I went over it when I was actually doing the commentary for the time lapse, or I guess when I will be doing the because it's future tense for me right now. Anyway, I want to take a moment away from this where we're, you know what? Folks, the bison and the pronghorns are coming, but uh, I just I, I need to step away from building that habitat for a moment and just see how everybody else, you know, how everything else is going for a little bit. Um, that was really long, and I've completely lost track of the length of this episode because we already had the previous time lapse, and we've got this one, so my apologies if things are all over the place right now. Now, 
just to to wrap things up this session though i mean i might go back to that again but but there were a couple of more suggestions there were a few more suggestions in the uh comments that i wanted to implement today uh primarily having to do with the uh the bear exhibit over here and how we might actually be able to convince these bears to maybe use some of these branches and stuff over here because i think it'd be pretty cool if we can get the bears onto these uh these logs Again, I don't know if they'll do it, but, but if they do, if they do, it'd be pretty neat. So let's go ahead and see if we can't work a little magic over here and convince them that this is climbable. I don't know. I just think it'd be neat. Okay, it'd be extra neat if, um, if it actually rotated nicely. Oh, we don't have angle snap on or anything. Come on, work with me here, game. Work with me here. There we go. There we go. Okay, let's, let's. I'm just curious, just curious, because I would like them to, uh, nah, I mean, it, it sees it as climbable, but you know what, it, actually, it can't get to that corner, I think that's the issue, it can't get to that corner, hmm, hold on a second, is the baby able to climb, yeah, the baby's able to get to areas that the, the parents aren't, it makes perfect sense, obviously, it's a size thing, that's just kind of funny, I just didn't expect that, alright, fair enough, fair enough, now, my, my one big concern about all this effort we've put over here is that, watch, people don't even come uh, this far out, because it is pretty far. And right now, there's no reason to come here, so I'm not surprised no one's going there, but... Uh... Man. <laughs> they, they better, they better take, take that trek. What I'm thinking is, we'll get some more exhibits down over here to draw people through. We might get another set of washrooms or something as well, again, to just draw people through, and uh, hopefully, that'll ensure that people actually... Um, explore that far out this is quite the sight are you the alpha tell me your no oh it's nakedra you know she's her own kind of that was beautiful excellent timing she's her own kind of alpha this is her litter after all and uh abigail that's the other female oh i wonder if they're going to duke it out <gasps> oh no <laughs> i wonder if they're about to duke it out buddy get out of there <laughs> i don't like this um, but yeah, let's go ahead and see. This area is not being used quite yet, but I think the people are having a good time. Again, I don't see the need to drop donation boxes and stuff here just yet. It's not drawing the crowds, uh, quite yet, unfortunately, but we'll, we'll deal with that when, uh, when we get there. And you know what? It was also pointed out in the comments that I didn't exactly finish our barriers over here. So let's go ahead and just get this done real quick. Looks like our staff is having some trouble getting to a staff area so i'll quickly check what the deal is with that in a second mechanic research complete as well that's good that's good raise this a little bit let's make sure no one's children are gonna fall through here uh, i'll cover that up later i'll cover that up later i'll you get like some rocks and stuff down there that's not a problem uh but let's go ahead and see all right what do we got more babies already for the uh spiders man they're fast they're fast oh, that's for sure all right, you're not spiders. You're spiders. Let's go ahead and get... People, you, you guys have been mentioning this for a while. I should maybe finally actually do this. Drop you over there and drop you over here. Get people donating and, and educating themselves from both sides. I don't know if these guys are making too much money for me, if I'm completely honest. Oh, you know what? That's not too bad, actually. 504. It's not too bad. Especially now that we have more decent quality animals, I guess. But yeah, this is, this is way too many of them in this group. Group size is too large. Um, what is your ideal group size? Oof. Well, 11 is too big. We know that. We know that. Let's go ahead and find our... You're pregnant. Let's get rid of... Oh, why do we have so many spiders? Like, I don't even know which one we should keep. Antonio, you get to stay. Everybody else, Trade Center. You two, Trade Center as well. Dolores, you in the Trade Center too. Okay, there we go. Gonna have some more babies soon as well. Jeez. Fighting for alpha status. Looks like that's exactly what was going on over here. Unless this is just the old notification that for some reason hasn't gone away yet. You guys are just congregate. Oh, no. There we go. There we go. Setting the alpha female this time around. Is Nekedra still... No, Nekedra is no longer the alpha. Wait, hold on. What is this? You're not... I don't know. You know what? I think they're just playing. I guess they're just playing. <laughs> I'm like... Keeping an eye out for these fights the moment they might start. It makes me so nervous. 
Come on, get up here. I want to, come on, get up here, buddy. I want to get a nice shot of you up over here. God damn. Hopefully our keepers are able to come here. I actually want to try and get a keeper here to, f to fill that up. And what have we got over here? Mechanic research complete. Is this going to be more India theme stuff? Good stuff. Vet research complete. More bear stuff as well. I didn't actually enrich uh, the bear area, so I should maybe do that. Tia Kaiser, let's go ahead and get you researching. Mm, I guess we're fine for now. Leave you free for now because I want to go ahead and see what can we do for the bears over here. Oh, they're so cute. They are so cute. Alright, let's see. Um, Sorry. <laughs> Can't help myself. Enrichment items for the bears. Tree forager. Roller feeder. Let's see. What else? What kind of toys? Because I think their food stuff is fine, right? Enrichment. Oh, no. Their food enrichment is not fine. Alright. Um, Get them a tree forager. Or I get them the... Uh... Oh, what happened there? I'll have to see what happened there. Oh, look at, look, look at Buddy go. Look at Buddy go. I can put this down over here. And there was also a suggestion of making this a proper cave, a bit more of a cave that they could hibernate in. Uh, that is something worth thinking about. Okay, let's go ahead and unbox you here real quick. I don't know why... Uh... I don't know why that happened, but it did. 500 bucks is not that bad. I could put this up over here. I could get rid of this. And I could put this up over here. I think that should make for an interesting uh, interactive element. What is going on here? Go ahead and give the move order again. Maybe she got stuck in there or something? I don't know what happened there. That was weird. But I wanted to check. Oh my god, Abigail is expecting offspring now as well. Yikes. Oh, this is unfortunate. They're not able to get up here properly. Hmm. No, no. Oh, I see. Climbing is different from flat land, I guess. So yeah, there you go. They're able to climb properly. No problem. Species toy enrichment is dropped, though. So let's go ahead and see. They're probably bored of the toys they have. Uh, so let's go ahead and see toys. The rubbing pillar. Oh, and the chimes. The chimes are cute. Uh, let's go ahead and put the rubbing pillar like somewhere over here, maybe. At, make another interesting viewpoint, like up top here. By the trees. Sure. No, why do you keep doing that? Not sure why that keeps happening. I mean, that time I guess I dropped something right in front of her and that maybe made her teleport away. But okay, we're good. Toy enrichment, food enrichment, everything's pretty good over here. Looking pretty good. Um, food is being served. People are watching. People are having a good time, hopefully. Ticket price is good. Yep, yep, yep. Overall pretty happy. Timberwolf. Zoo feels pretty small. Listen, I got a great extension coming. I got a great extension coming. Alright, alright. People are definitely enjoying this. Now, actually, I want to mention really quickly, it's been brought up a couple of times that I could actually expand... Oh, sorry, not expand, but uh, make the, the, the tortoise area a walk-in area. Uh, the reason why I haven't done that is because apparently tortoises don't really like that kind of company. Uh, they get very... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Oh! <gasps> Oh no, you're kidding me. That was so cute. <laughs> that was so cute. Uh, they get very uncomfortable when it comes time to uh, uh, interact with people. They're very shy, apparently. So, hence me avoiding that. This is just not working in my favor, is it? Got those vendors doing nothing there. More mechanic research complete as well. So what do you complete this time? More India stuff? Drink shops have been completed. Great. Let's go ahead and get... Uh, Alejandro, let's get you working on some food shops as well. So this means we can upgrade what's going on uh, in the food court, in our underground food court, which is good. Water treatment is failing. Let's go ahead and repair that. We we'll missed our VIP. No, we did not. Excellent. Alpha fighting is hopefully done. What's the alert here? Abigail is expecting babies. I know that. Abigail, Abigail, Abigail. Where are you? Where are you, girl? Is that you? February of this year. Wow, so that's real soon. Now, this pack might be getting a little too big uh, for the area I have for them. Yeah, so I might actually want to start looking at some of the like gold quality offspring and stuff. But this is so cool. We have a full pack. We have a full pack. That's pretty exciting. It just needs to have... Um, like, this feels like we actually have a wolf exhibit now, you know? This feels like we actually have a wolf exhibit now. 
It was like a t-shirt waiting to be made over here. Anyway, um, folks, this has been an intense session. This has been a long session. I think it's time to call it one. I hope it's ended up around an hour. I hate making them short after time-lapsing and everything. Uh, but if I'm completely honest, I am absolutely uh, exhausted after uh, struggling with the... Um, with the the little tower that i was building off in the distance my god is this not one of the cutest things you have ever seen <laughs> it's so adorable what is this shanita you are a cutie shanita you are a cutie anyway sorry uh as i was saying this is where i'm going to call it a session folks i uh Oh, wow. This one has taken a long time to record. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Next session, we will complete our uh, bison and pronghorn exhibit. We're going to get it really fancy looking. There's a lot of stuff still to do over here. We're going to finish this watchtower. Uh, if you have any thoughts or suggestions or pointers on this kind of thing, feel free to drop it in the comments as always. Uh, and as always as well, if you enjoyed the session, you know what to do. Let me know by leaving a like and a comment down below. It makes a very big difference. I do read through all the comments. It lets me know what you guys want to see more or less of on the channel. It's extremely helpful for me. Apart from that, folks, a massive thanks as always goes out to all of my channel members and patrons for supporting the channel on a monthly basis. You keep us alive and running smoothly. And a big old thanks goes out to each and every one of you for watching. Until next time. Cheers.